Hi everyone, this is Deb Kim and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to go through the steps of building your very own DIY shrimp hatchery. So please stay tuned. So this is my shrimp hatchery. It's a DIY, but I think this style is very popular among fish keepers. So today I'm going to show you how I make this particular one. As you can see, you need a little wood, some bottles, some, a couple pumps, some clips, brine shrimp eggs, some tubing, and a few other little things to get your brine shrimp hatching. So let's get at it. Now before we get started, I want to just show you this first bottle is nice and orange, so it is ready. So what I do is I put a clip pinching off the air hose rather than unplugging the pump. And you can see the shrimp will be heading down toward the light, but look at how thick the shrimp are in this bottle. So here's everything we need for our DIY shrimp hatchery. The first thing we need is to build our stand. I use two square five by five inch sideboards and then across the top, my board is 10 inches with three holes drilled in evenly. Then we're going to need a bottle. These handy caps are sold on Amazon. I'll leave a link for you. I like the metal caps, but you can use whatever taps you like. Then you need a long piece of tubing that will be going on to this tap, like that, there, and a shorter piece of tubing, which will be attached to the pump. So I'm going to take these little lock caps off slip it over the end of the tubing so I don't forget about it. And I push it on and then slide that lock and tighten it. There we go. Now I'll open the next one and this is where we put the top tubing. Oops, I get that little cap on there first. Okay, so I attach it, push it in as far as I can slide the lock down and turn it nice and tight. Okay, so now we take our bottle, attach it to the cap, and then we can feed our tubing through the hole and let our bottle just sit in there. Now this tap has to be closed or your water will just run out. So don't forget to do that. I like to have my pumps underneath my station. So I add the tubing, attach it to the pump. There we go. So now it's ready to fill. So I use about a liter of water and I like to use this artisan sea salt. I add about two teaspoons of salt just a little pinch of baking soda. And then I like to give it a good shake. There we go. And then I can add it to the bottle. A little salt yet in the bottom, so I'll loosen that. There we go. So now your shrimp hatchery is almost ready. I'll just turn on the bubbles. There we go. And the light. There. Now what I usually like to do is let the water bubble for about 8 to 10 hours just to make sure it's well mixed before I add my brine shrimp eggs. So the brine shrimp have been sitting for a little while making their way down to the light while I was showing you how to make this DIY hatchery. So now I can drain the brine shrimp from the first bottle. I have this tall glass and I'll show you why it's so great. 
first thing I'm going to do is open the top and then I'm just going to hold it down here and let gravity work. Let the brine shrimp run out. Now because the cap has these little spouts in it, sometimes the brine shrimp get caught. So I just take my net handle or a little stick or whatever you have and just give it a little stir to get the last of the brine shrimp to come through the tube and into the collector glass. Now I'm going to close the top there, clip it back up and there you see, look at those, look at the brine shrimp. That's amazing. There's a lot in there. So the brine shrimp have been sitting in this glass for a little while and they all sink to the bottom. And now I'm going to remove as much water as I can. Just squeeze that out. get a little bit more. Now this one has shrimp in it so I'll just go and put that into my aquarium. So now I take the brine shrimp and pour them into this jar. I see all that in there. I'll just fill that up with fresh water and then pour it into the jar. To dilute the salt water content then I put the lid on this little jar and pop it in the fridge. And as the water comes to the top, before I feed, I will remove again as much water as I can, leaving me with a nice batch of baby brine shrimp that I keep in my fridge and have on hand all the time. So here is my brine shrimp hatchery in action. Now I didn't mention about the light, but I have a bar light from a 10 gallon, an old 10 gallon. I don't use the light anymore, so it's perfect for this. But you can use any light. You can use a gooseneck desk lamp and just bend it down to bring them light. And you will find you have a successful hatchery ready for use. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a terrific day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.